Good evening gamers, this is Griever and uh, sorry we're just a little wee bit late trying to get some stuff uh, organised so that people can watch this match. We have nothing special versus WAR and of course this is uh, the last match of this round for the Cyborg Cup. So this should be very interesting indeed and tonight I am joined in the virtual studio by Thorndike. How you doing bud? I'm doing great Griever, thanks for having me. No problem at all. And uh, so we're just on the spire point with Iris here as he caps it up. Shifter getting caught out a little bit there. So uh, Wah holding last 100% Uber. The losing Jimmy and Shifter though. The Uber has been popped and of course Gessex has no Uber to speak of currently. But uh, Wah possibly overextending a little bit there. Leander getting caught out there. Um, no one really doing anything out on Grey Bridge, Fondike. Yeah, so Leander's gone down. They're only three up on the last point. But... Um, NS hasn't really pushed in too much, it's just except the scout trying to go for uh, the demo. Yeah, so we're seeing Iris here putting in some damage, just coming in and peeking up on the top there. Um, they're not really doing anything. Putty did go down though, which is a massive loss for NS. Um, yeah, he's a pretty big player there. Yep, he is Division 1 Australia and uh, it, it, he's uh, a relatively smart player as well, so a big, big uh, loss if he goes down for NS here comprised of, uh, you know, New Zealand players. But, uh, yeah, just having a look here, and it uh, looks like they're going to Uber in through the bottom. The Uber has been popped. Soldier getting up there, getting awesome uh, awesome height advantage up there. Footy taking out Jimmy on the side there, having a look over here. Um, they haven't lost too many players for a while, however, Cap on the point, about to get a Soldier on there as well. Another Soldier comes to deny it. Iris goes down, and, uh, wow. Tides doesn't really oh, notice no. the scout on him. No, he didn't. Not at all. Uh, Tyres goes down to that scout. Putty is going to get on the point. He's going to demolish that soldier, and the Putty carry is going to carry. What do you think of that, Fondo? Uh That was a really solid play, I thought, by Wa. Like, they were keeping the height and damaging them, but just in the end, the scout coming in and taking out um, their demo tyres really just meant that there's only one person to defend, and he couldn't do it. Indeed. And, uh, yeah, Tyres with a pretty decent roll out there. He actually... Uh, Almost beating his counterpart. His counterpart going through uh, Valley there. Ty is getting pretty low though, so he's hanging back. Just having a look. Shift to getting out of oh. free health. Getting caught out. Guess X My going down. My main man Jimmy taking oh. down the medic. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, absolutely huge there. And Freak getting picked off as well. Ennis absolutely cleaning up. Stuff all left of Wah around. Only end above a look at that. And uh, he is going to get away on 15 health. Pistol, pistol bullets flying past his head from that. And uh, Wire will be holding last again. Yep. Uh, it was a good play by Jimmy, but obviously that just means now they've sort of got even Ubers. Indeed, but that is important, and I think for a team like Wire, knowing that they're probably going to be on the losing end of the stick, if they can take away that mid advantage and have something to work from, you know, like, yeah. Smart play by Wire. You know, so we'll have a look at the Ubers here, and GSX has around a, oh, about a 10%, maybe 15% advantage. They're grinding faster than uh, Leander has been, so uh, they'll be looking to grind that Uber up as soon as possible. Wah definitely needs to have an Uber when NS decides to push. And uh, NS, especially if Putty directing them, speaking of Putty, Putty going down there, would have been <laughs> wanting to push as soon as they got Uber. So this will be interesting. NS has 100% Uber. Are they going to push? Are they going to wait? It looks as though they're going to just push without Putty. Well, that makes, we go. yeah, I mean, Putty can just respawn and come up and do clean up, which he's exactly. really, really good at, in my experience. So, both Ubers have been popped, um, and so far the point is still intact. Quite a lot of them going down, only two up, uh, Swifty and Putty, so a scout and a soldier. Yeah, and uh, Putty's knocker shouldn't be able to do much there. He does, though, he gets <laughs> Ender. I say shouldn't. Yeah. But they are back capping, so or they're capturing Spire I should say, so even with Putty distracting, they're still able to capture Spire, which is good work from them. Indeed, and uh, poor Jimmy here is going to get absolutely wasted out on Balcony. And unfortunately he ran into Freak and Swifty. And uh, Putty there up against that soldier, that's Barry Burden, he goes down, so yet again the powerhouse that is Putty putting in the damage there. And uh, yeah, cleaning up everyone else's damage as a scout should. So uh, we're going to have a look here, and uh, NS is just climbing Spire, don't want to take any chances of Sticky Traps on Roller Door, and they are going to push into Top Lobby and get ready to push on Wire again, and by now Wire has got to be feeling uh, feeling a you know a bit of pressure from being pushed on so many times already, Fondike. 
Yeah, Jimmy went heavy, um, bottom left of last, but got taken down by a scout. They did take out the scout, but yeah, be better obviously if it was the heavy that was still up rather than the scout. Indeed, now see Putty going down there as well as Swifty. Wah wow, putting out a good amount of damage, and more importantly, Wah wow, not losing all their height advantage. Like they're doing a good job of keeping height, and that is possibly the most important thing. Um, you know, to give them, you know, to try and negate that DM advantage yeah. that uh, is quite, po you know, most well does have. <clears throat> yeah, I see just bit... Sorry. I was just going to say, Wah wow, all getting cleaned up, and uh, they're going to cap out the point. It just seemed at that point, while they were focusing on the point, Iris just had free range from the bottom just to totally spam their soldier demo and mid, so just putting massive damage out. But even though they were defending the point, they were just really low at the end of it. Absolutely, Thorndike. Um, and unfortunately, Iris yeah. uh, missing his rollout there, so he's going to be slow as he comes out of Valley. Tyres is already there, and look, there's a scout coming up on there. Scout's been denied. Iris gets down to 30 health, though. And Freak goes down as well. Wah doing really good on this rollout, but they're falling here when they shouldn't be falling. They should be mm. getting aggressive, taking control of those crates. And uh, Iris there with a good sticky, taking out Barry Burden as he falls down, but oh, Iris no, taking a massive though. pipe to the face. Absolutely huge form, Dyke. This is what we like to see in a league match, is it not? And then again, just behind, uh, oh, there goes Putty no. with the usual tactic. So unfortunately a team down, even though it was a longer mid-battle than the previous rounds. So good effort, Wah. No, certainly very good effort. Um, and Freak is obviously having a smoke or uh, doing something he shouldn't be because uh, he wasn't controlling the mouse while he was rolling out there. But um, yeah, so Ennis only just now getting on Spire um, and capping that up. They already got a soldier sitting in top lobby, but uh, screwing around a little bit there. Not keeping the pressure on. Gear 6 is coming up on 19% Uber Thorndike as he comes around corner with his soldier. Yep, and we're just doing the usual thing of holding back to last. They're not really doing a forward hole, and we've just got... It's only really a soldier and scout in top lobby, but it looks like the combo should be moving in... ...fairly shortly. And uh, Leander needs to keep grinding because uh, Ubers are completely even at the moment, but it would be nice if they could definitely have Uber before. Nothing special, uh, is it? No, Night Shift pushes in, lol. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Guess X is going to get it before Leander. Leander, get some grind on, son. Enes is about to push any second. Here they go, jumping in and uh, popping Leander, but not getting height. So this is good. They can use this to their advantage. However, there is a cap on the point. Ooh, Scout's yeah. on there now. Unfortunately, the demo had the drop, so they're losing that all-important height advantage here. And there's a soldier right there putting in the damage. They need to get rid of Swifty there. And Guess X is up there with Putty. And uh, he's just... Oh, look at this. Oh. Scout. Oh, oh Jimmy. Bad denied, luck. son. Denied. Guess X didn't even think twice. Just pulled out the saw. I believe it was the amputator. And uh, shoved it in his face. I'm sure Jimmy did that intentionally just to give us something to talk about when they're yeah. pushing. Yeah, then that's the story he's going to go with. Anyway, having a look here. Freak getting caught out bottom left. Barry Burden has the power of rockets and splash damage. Shoot feet, get kills. And uh, Putty also discovering that there, so uh, two-player disadvantage for NS here, Fondo. Yeah, so this combo for Wa was sort of just approaching top lobby, but they've been sort of spammed back. Um, yeah. Just everybody's back to the whole positions, waiting for the push to last. Pretty much. That's what's so exciting about games like this. But uh, Shifter getting picked off, I'm assuming he got a little bit uh, too far out on the uh, left hand side there, holding last. And uh, yeah, as usual, don't push out of that choke point, if you're not confident, you're not going to get raped people. But uh, Putty. having a look uh, here, oh yeah. no, Leander, Putty with the body shot on Leander, that's uber gone for uh, Wafondo. Yeah, which is obviously very, very unfortunate. It's typical of Putty to do body shots, so that's not unexpected. But um, let's see how this heavy goes. Oh, well, it's actually what you want to do. You never want to go for the head on a medic on last, man. Fully charged body shot, 150 health, guaranteed medic down. Two times cap on the point, and they're going to cap that out, Thorndike. Quick as you yep. like. Very well played. Indeed. As you can see, Putty here doing... Uh 
Fuck you, six. Um, Putty obviously doing a decent job of carrying here. Putty on 27 points. Closest behind him will be Iris on 18. Tyres, on the other hand, on the other team, has the highest amount of points other than the Medic on 10. Uh, good job on Wa, though, like, you know, keeping their Medic up as much as they can. And the Soldier being denied here. Ah. Freak and Guess X going down, so that's Medic down for NS. Unfortunately, Ender, Barry Burton, and Tyres and Shifter going down as well. Uh, so Leander's going to be wanting to get out of here. Cannot. Putty in the way. But uh, Jimmy on the point. Jimmy turning his back on a scout. What's he doing? Is he going to win this duel? Uh... Unfortunately, Jimmy going up to house there, but not spotting the Putty coming out of house somehow. And uh, yeah, Putty putting on his rag face. Yeah, so another sort of, like, the Wa was getting some really good picks and everything, but just at the end it sort of seems that um, without their medic, obviously they're not getting the heals to be able to continue actually capturing mid and getting the other players. Definitely. I mean, they possibly haven't got the experience for it yet, but when Wa has the advantage, they need to take it, get in there, and, you know, as you say, they need to get control of the other side of the map, basically. They... They, they seem to get control and like, you know, get a bit of an advantage and then they just hold back Dyke and that's really unfortunate. So, the uh, NS is now sort of trying to get Spire. They've been spanned out pretty well, so they actually haven't managed to start any caps. Um, and just while obviously holding on battlements. Control point is being contested. Indeed. Anyway, so we're going to see Gessex move her over into pocket here. Just watching Ender and the demo and the medic there up here. And uh, see the soldier there up. Oh no, the, oh, the uber's being popped. Don't even know why that was popped. Not that much damage coming in on the medic. They quickly deny there and they're going to try and pop Gessex. They do pop him, but Ender losing his height advantage. He possibly could have popped him without dropping off Spire. Because NS is going to jump straight up there right now. Cap that out. And uh, it looks as like they're going to put some rape on at last. Look at the Swifty coming up. Choosing to go for the scouts instead of a medic. He does take out Shifter. So that's a bit of a loss for Wa there. And, uh, yeah, they're... Very... Sorry, go. Oh, yeah. Well, now, I was just going to say they're two down. But then they went three down. But Nada has respawned. So they're... But Ennis is down their demo. So that certainly makes it a lot harder to push last without your demo. Indeed. So it's Nada, not Ender. Oh, Nada. Yeah. Right. Sorry about that, Nada. Never spoken to you before. Uh, this is the problem of casting teams of people that you've never really talked to before. You end up saying their name wrong. But uh, this such is life. And uh, Leander coming up on 95% now, whereas Guess X is just breaking 90. So at least Wa is going to have an Uber to hold this point with. Seems to be going up pretty quick. Look at this. They're pushing out. Tyres unfortunately getting lost, but Freak going down as the counter pop comes in. Iris though is going to come in and clean up this heavy with no problems whatsoever. And they're going to cap up this point I would imagine. Indeed they do. Good desperate defence by Wa there, but no such luck. It was unfortunate that um, Tyres got dropped there um, with the Uber. Because obviously they, they, their push wasn't as successful and just yeah Gessix and Iris coming down the bottom and sort of um, getting away from the Uber and then managing to get the point so good play by them yeah definitely and uh, as you can see the demo there tires catching Snicky as he comes out of house Iris has awesome control here wow when you watch this watch how this works look at Spam Alley Iris doing everything right there kind of like keeping them locked in house and then as they push out just putting a constant barrage of Spam in there and uh, as you can see, Scout Row Putty does get taken out. Good work by uh, Nada. N Nada? Nada? Yeah. Nada, the upper corner. But um, Leander getting out, so uh, they are going to get to keep their Uber form, though. Yeah, it's probably one of the few mids that they actually have managed to get Leander at the same time, so that's very positive. Um, we'll just see if they actually can defend Spire, but Iris is pretty much sticky it all up, so they might just do a forward hold, see if they can pop them before they go to last. Indeed, and obviously Freak up here in the juice spot. We're wondering what's going to happen here. Is he going to go for a play? Are they going to try and bait something in? Uh, who knows? Leander, what are you having a look for? You just took a rocket for no reason, son. What is going on? And, um, interestingly enough, Wa's still holding forward. I don't know why they are. Um, you usually do a forward hold so that you can scrape together an uber before you fall to last, or... Oh, uh, Jesus. They 
they have made them pop in battlements though, so yeah. that's a positive. And Putty did go sniper and just got um, sticky bombed. So actually doing quite well here in battlements. So at least they can defend last again. Yeah, if they get away with this, it's going to be NS as bad because that was a big fail by Wa there. But uh, it looks as though they might almost get away with us. I mean, they've got a serious uh, player disadvantage shifter not falling when he should have there. But uh, there's a good chance to catch Iris here, not quite taking it. Um, tires going down as well. So that's demo down. There's players everywhere. And uh, Barry Burden dropping that height advantage. And Iris is just walking all over the place. Iris, however, getting a bit cocky, coming in by himself. However, he's going to have some backup here. Enes is moving in. And uh, who was that? Jimmy. Very nice me shot on Putty there. Yeah, so Nabel doing a very nice jump there and taking the advantage when no one was able to basically jump on or spam the point. So capping out, making it 5 0 and the map over. Indeed, and Swifty just kicking back here in last. Uh, yeah, having some fun with one. So we're going to move on to Cough Pro Viaduct RC3. Um, and I'll have a look at the time for that. I mean, that was. That wasn't actually too bad for Ndai. If we have a look at, you know, the scores and the medics and stuff, Leander obviously spent a bit more time down than Guess X did. And uh, things are obviously in the favour of uh, of NS here. But overall, wow, putting up a pretty good performance. So yeah, let's head on over to uh, Cough Pro Viaduct RC3 and see how these teams do. Um... Yo. You know they can't hear you. Righto, and we're back for the aftermatch interview. Um, obviously I'm still joined by Thorndike, and we're going to interview members of WA and NS. And uh, it looks like we've got <laughs> most of both teams in there. Apologies if I have you for the wrong team here. Uh, I have NS, we have Freak, GuessX, Iris... Enabled, Putty and Swifty, and from Wah we've been joined by, who's that, Jimmy, Leander, Ender, bro, I forgot your name wrong, you have to tell me after, Shifter, and Tyres. So yeah, welcome to everyone, and uh, we're just going to quickly go through and see how that game was for everybody. Freak, how was that for you, dude? That was, uh, it was a pretty interesting game. It was, um, yeah, they didn't defend their medic too much, so easy game. True that. I uh, I noticed you were getting picked off a lot on Viaduct, trying to hold up on the left. That seemed to be where they were holding, but uh, but uh, even with that one player disadvantage, they couldn't really do much about it. So yeah, and you put out some awesome damage on Badlands. So good shit, man. Um, Cheers, man. Guess X. How was that for you as medic? I know <laughs> no medic's very fond of playing medic on uh, Cough Pro Viaduct RC3. So. Uh, trying a few new things out, so it was um, yeah, a bit interesting for me. Um, wasn't quite used to it, but I got a uh, got a stab out there. There, I think was it Badlands. Yeah, yeah. Shifter in Badlands. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy, oh, sorry, Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, whoever it was, that, that's all I remember. I had a few drinks beforehand, so... <laughs> yeah, that was huge crossbow. Um, and Iris, uh, especially impressed with you on Badlands. Poor Wah, trying to come out of house, but you're getting there early. <laughs> putting those stickies down and denying them. And uh, then you yeah. Know, yeah, spam alley down the side there, down the corner. So, yeah, very well done there, bro. You would have been happy with your game? Oh, kind of. Um, I, I don't know if you saw, but I fucked up two of my rollouts pretty bad. Hit mid on like 50 and nearly died to a sticky, and so <laughs> it was a few tense moments. But yeah, they, um, they, they fall out quite quickly, which definitely makes my job a lot easier. I can yeah. just kind of spam down the choke, so yeah, yeah. that definitely was, was nice. For sure. And uh, Jimmy, uh, poor Wah, wow, especially on Badlands, you guys had the advantage a few times and possibly didn't you know, use it. What was up with that? Um, I think the main problem was the bickering in TeamSpeak. We were ready to push, and it just sort of got a bit messy, and by the time we had organised, we just fell apart and had to fall back. Yeah, well, all things considered, we are doing very good against NS there, got to say. Um, Leander, how was that for you, bud? Uh, it was super fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think when you were saying we didn't really take advantage, we're not used to having advantage a heck of a lot, so we don't... It's not a strong point pushing out of last and stuff like that. 
Yeah, no, I was more meaning on mid, like, uh, the couple of times that you guys got very early picks with any slot, they might have made a couple of silly mistakes at the start, or you just genuinely caught them out. So, yeah, taking, uh, maybe using that advantage and stuff. But, uh, overall, wow, played really well tonight. I, I don't know about you, Fondike, but I was really impressed, eh, dude? Yeah, yeah I, was, I was particularly impressed with some of the picks uh, people were able to get, and the way you guys were able to hold last, um, well, for most of the time. True that, and now for the, the one thing I've been waiting for all night. How do you say your name? Ender? Ender? Ender. Ender. It depends on who you ask. <laughs> if you ask tyres, it's Nada, but it's Ender. Ah, there we go. That's right, because what, right, I, was for, what I was saying Ender, but like, Fondike was like, nah, it's Nada. And so, it's, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Nada's, Nada's just a bit funner oh. to spam through the mic, and it just rolls off the tongue, so Nada's my, my pick. Yeah, uh -huh. Had something else in my tongue, you're twisting it. Anyway, moving on, Nabled. So you playing Scout on Viaduct. Um, yeah, doing really well there, dude. How was the game for you? Um, yeah, it was all good, eh? We decided to change it up a bit, not playing any soldiers, and uh, obviously we wanted Putty to be sniping, because Ben the machine he is. He can snipe anything, but uh, yeah, I was just trying to um, find the isolated players, like the ones that were just running away from the combo, but uh, Wire played pretty solidly together. And it was quite hard for me, actually. As you saw, I was at the bottom of the table. I wasn't doing as well as I thought I should be, but... Oh well. Happens. Yeah, well, either way, as you said, you were running putty and uh, as sniper, which is obviously you probably have a f way greater damage output as soldier. And, of course, you had Swifty on heavy. So, either way, you didn't have much to mop, so you did pretty well there. Moving on, putty. How was that? A bit of a walk in the park for you, bro? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Um, it's pretty... Pretty good game, I thought. Like the score shows that they didn't win around, but it wasn't really like that in game, I don't reckon. Definitely not. Uh, Shifter, how did you do, bud? Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, not much else to say. It was fun. <laughs> All right, Swifty. Uh, yeah, I had a bit of a slow start, eh? But then kind of got into it, and it was uh pretty good to rock out the heavy on Viaduct. I must say, it was some pretty good fun. Instead of soldier, <laughs> evil. Yeah, this is true. And, uh... Oh, how, how about this Fawndike, and did you have a good time casting? Uh, I did have a good time casting. I'm glad you were there to speak most of the time, because if I spoke too much, you'll probably notice I end up just saying really obvious things. Yeah, it's the, really hard not to do that. But, what's um, actually happening yeah, rather than Especially for your first saying. cast, no practice or nothing. You did really, really well. And uh, tyres, some impressive demo men work there. A couple of your rollouts, um, I don't know if it's because Iris botched his, but you uh, got there first and got that early damage in there. Well done. Yeah, it is. I mean, it was a pretty good game for us. We haven't had too much opportunity to play like uh, opposition of sort of night shifts, night shift skill. We've, we, we've played a lot of lower level teams, and since we've sort of sort of got our stuff together, we've hardly played any any good teams except for KB Thorn. Uh, so it was, it was a good experience. It was a good experience for us. Like we really enjoyed it. It was um it was good. Like we just found we got punished. Any small thing we did, we got punished, and we were expecting that. But overall, it was it was a good game for us, and we're looking forward to playing some some better opposition so we can yeah learn more. Yeah, if you guys aren't already an AusFL, get in there because uh, the gains you guys have made are just absolutely huge. So great work. So, uh, nothing special. Where to from here? Night shift. <laughs> oh, 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 well done. Oh, <laughs> that's that's, that's, night. Do that's that. that. <laughs> Interview over. Get out, Get out, Get out Griever. I'll finish it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, I um... actually only did that once during the cast, which I'm fairly impressed with. If you both <laughs> stop using the same acronyms, you know, I wouldn't have such a hard time even if one What do you mean stop? Defunct. They disbanded. I know We're still around. Yeah, Excuse I me. I know, but... Anyway. On a more serious <laughs> note, camp. Camp's next. Camp's next. You reckon Enes has got this? Um. Well, <laughs> actually, we've got a lot of players leaving for um holidays soon, so we're gonna have to try and get the match sorted out asap. But yeah, we're we're definitely looking forward to a win for that. Yeah. yeah we're, we're we're confident that they're obviously gonna give us like probably the hardest game we're gonna play. Um, despite why SW say we make it to the final round. Mm. Um. Quite clearly, they are the best team in New Zealand. But, um, yeah, it could go anyway, I reckon. Um, in our weeklies, it's always gone either way. It's never been um, a set win or a set loss. It's, yeah. 
Okay, um, and also uh, a bit of a question here. So, how does it work with you and Taffy sitting next to each other, looking at each other's screens? While <laughs> <you> <laughs> each other? What, 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 what happens there? I'll well, tell you what happens. We hear her squeals coming down his mic. So <laughs> oh, squeals down his mic, eh? Hmm. Uh, sometimes wow. she'll hold her button down, and they'll they'll hear my calls. So you can quite clearly see when they're trying to counter us. It's quite annoying, but so she accidentally holds her mic. Down. <laughs> yeah. Oh hell. Anyway, good shit. But nah, we we tilt our screens around. We try not to screen watch as much as we can. Righto, so it's, like, so it's like old school uh, siphon filter or something, put a board down the middle, sort of sit on either side or something, something like Split that. Split screen is serious business. Indeed it is. And uh, wow, what about for you guys, like, what are you wanting to do? I mean, I know we spoke briefly before, but what are you wanting to do as a team from here? I guess I'll talk. Um, <laughs> really, <laughs> it's just, we really, really, really want to sort of start beating KB just because of Thorn. And um, we just, you know, we're just versing sort of FML teams right now, and personally I'm getting really sick of it. It's sort of too easy for us, and other teams are too hard. Yeah. So right now if we keep practicing, we should be able to get good games with KB, and just sort of get into the, the average New Zealand level over time, so we can okay. have some good games. because I'm going to stop you there, because you guys are tripping. KB have come up so far in level, it's not funny. You guys might not even noticed, but... Low div, like all of it does four and Oz F and stuff. You are you are playing at that level well and truly. So get in there. You guys have made some huge gains. But uh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna move on from there and get to some shout outs. Freak, give us some shout outs, bro. Um, yeah. To everyone that helps support the FML guys, even though that's not part of this, but FML is gonna help the community a lot. So it's gonna be good. This is true. Awesome turnout there. For those of you who don't know, we've had uh, roughly 80 people sign up and we've formed 11 complete teams out of us. Is that the number enabled? I can't remember. Uh, 11, there's a possible 12th, so... Wow, which is, uh, yeah, obviously uh, not far off double what we have in regards to complete organised clans in New Zealand, so it's an excellent effort. For those of you who don't know about it, jump on nzfortress.co.nz and check it out. And uh, we'll be running another one of those next year, so if you're new to TF2 and you're listening into this cast and want to check it out, um, it's a very good way to get into it. It's called the Fresh Meat League. Um, anyway, uh, next shout-out, Guess X. Uh, no shout-out as such. I just want to uh, apologise to... Um for the QQ moment. It was a bit of a, <laughs> it was a bit of a dodgy one on my behalf. Do apologize. Oh, that's alright. Yeah. We'll let it slide. Yeah, so it's, a, it's not a league match unless there's a bit of BM, so you know. Iris. <laughs> um I'll shout out to, to Night Shift the Clan for providing us with servers because I really appreciate having a server to use to practice and stuff where we don't have to book one. Uh, it has been pretty shit recently, I'm not going to lie, but um, it's still handy, so yeah, thanks to them. Yeah, yeah, not to mention that all-important CL thing, but uh, yeah, good to give a shout-out to your sponsors there. And uh, Leander, want to give us a shout Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, how could I forget you, Jimmy? Shout-out. Do you not think I have any friends or something? No, that's all your friends are in here. That's all. Oh, no, 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 it's a bad joke, bad joke. <laughs> Go, Jimmy. Rough. Um, just a shout-out to my mate Bryce from uni. He's going to be tuning in to watch this. He's looking forward to it. So I hope I showed off my skills enough for him. Indeed. Leander. Uh, shout-out to Barry, who is our one team member who's not in here at the moment. And to need and represent. Dunners. Epic. Uh, who else we got there? Inda. Shout out to my wife, actually, who wrangles our children so that I can actually get to play and not protect Leander. Yeah, we should probably give a generalizing shout out to, you know, all women who have, you know, partners yeah. that play TF2. They're very understanding, I feel. Yeah. Shout out to Taffy. <laughs> yeah. He did uh, that before, before I could. <laughs> <laughs> Naples next, what, were you waiting for it to get to Ender? Just trying to get yeah. in there. Well, shout out to Taffy. Guess has beaten me to it. Obviously, well, supporting me through well, thick and thin. <laughs> Did you hear his voice get all sappy there? Go no, carry on. <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to Computer Lounge. Thanks for obviously sponsoring us at uh, the Clan Night Shift through all the hard times that we've had. And uh, shout out to A's actually for giving us um, a lot of advice and improving the Night Shift. TF2 game, it's yeah, good call. made such a huge difference to us. Yeah, shout out, obviously. 
Uh, okay, I think you might have dropped there, but yeah, just to concur, A's yelling at you is good for your team mechanics, it really is. And uh, we're going to move on to Putty, give us a shout out, son. Shout out to Clip, because, you know, he's a cool guy. Indeed. And uh, who else we got there? Shifter? Shout out to my boy, Danny P. <laughs> and um, Connor, hope you got to Auckland okay. And yeah, anyone else listening? Well, okay, Swifty. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll make a shout out to Poppy Hemp and uh, give him good luck for his team in FML. Um, also, my mate Blitzu should be listening to this. And again, just a shout out to Night Shift and Computer Lounge for all the support they give us. And shout out to Griever and Thorn for hopefully putting on a good show for everyone listening. Indeed, we did. <laughs> no, there's nothing bad in there, I promise. Tyres, give us a shout out. Take us home, bro. No, I'll just shout out to probably um, just everyone on our team and uh, some of the senior people um, in, T in NZF, like yourself, and uh, definitely to KB for playing us regularly and just keeping us going all the time. It's always good. So, yeah. Indeed, good bunch of blokes. And uh, Thorndike, do you have any shout outs you want to put out? I there? certainly no, do, no, Griever. No, no. Yeah. Um, so, firstly, shout out to my FML team, Gecko Geckos, Get Gecked Mother Geckers. Um, <laughs> just to have a. Really glad to have them aboard. They're a bunch of cool guys, even if some of them like StarCraft 2. Uh, shout out to Kiwi Bacon, my clan. Whoop, whoop. Um, and I'll, I'll do a shout out to Taffy because she asked for one. And also a shout out to Combust. But mostly a shout out to my main man and the love of my life, Jimmy. Booyah, I love you too. <laughs> wow, I am so uncomfortable right now with the man love. But, That's um... romantic. <laughs> You'll be even worse when you find out my hands on your leg. <laughs> anyway. You did have a few beforehand, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Are we talking about drinks? Hitting on people you haven't seen before live in a cast. You're uh, yeah, quite adventurous. Oh, can I just say, for NZFers who have forum accounts, uh, go to the Heavy Lounge and put up your photo for the collage. Shout out for that thread. Yep, definitely. Thorndike did it last year. I jumped on it this year because I, um, you know, I'm bad manners like that. And uh, yeah, everyone get your picture up there. It's nice to know uh, who is who. And uh, yeah. Uh, Griever, can I just make a request on that as well? Yeah, bro. Go hard. Can Jimmy and my my picture be next to each other? Just because they're sort of matching. Um. Yeah, I'm sure I can arrange that. I'll leave it. Yes. Wicked. Um, yeah, in fact, I think Jandals will be handling that because he's uh, so much more leet with the art thing than I am, so I will uh, yeah, tell him that. Anyway, we're going to wrap that up there, people. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Obviously, this was the last match uh, from the first round of Cyborg Cup matches. The, uh, the uh, second round is probably going to go up tomorrow unless uh, something comes up, lol. And, uh, yeah, so we should get that underway, and uh, we're going to see some exciting matches this week as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Of course, I am Griever, and tonight I was joined by Thorndike, and, uh, yeah, big shout-out to Wa and to uh, Night Shift. Not nothing special for playing so well tonight as well. Cheers, people.